Of course, as we move into those winter months, that roof of yours should be a concern. We got some great tips from Ross Appledorn about how you can make sure that your roof is ready for this winter. Let's talk a little bit about some of the problems. And I have damming is one of them that you can have ice damming. Yeah, so without a doubt, the number one challenge that we deal with in the winter is ice damming. So ice damming or simply building up of ice in the gutters. You know, beyond the, the ice building up in the gutters, when it actually backs up under the shingles, that's when you start to get water in the house. And we deal with that a ton every single winter. There are a few things you can do to prevent ice dams from, from forming. So the number one thing, obviously, is you want to make sure your gutters are cleaned out, your downspouts are not clogged so that so that whatever water's in the gutters can drain out and it doesn't freeze and form the ice. But really beyond that, the number one thing you can do to prevent ice damming is to have um, adequate ventilation as part of your roofing system. So whenever we install a roof, one of the, the, one of the main things that we look at is do we have not only the, the ridge vent that everybody sees up on the roof that they expect the roofer to take care of, of, but in addition to that, we have to look at the intake ventilation. So we have to be bringing fresh air in at the bottom of the roof and then exhausting the hot air out at the top of the roof. We might poke our head in the attic and see that there are baffles installed so that the insulation is not blocking those intake vents. If I've already got a roof installed, is this something that I should look at? Have you guys come out and look at? What should I do on that? Certainly. Um, all of the above. So um, the average homeowner can certainly pop their head up into their attic and what they're going to want to look for is in a dark attic, they should be able to see daylight. So they should be able to see daylight up at the top of the roof where the, where the ridge vent is or whatever type of venting is on the roof. But in addition to that at, at the very bottom of the of the roof they should be able to see daylight coming in those those soffit vents those intake vents and if that's not in place by the way it can certainly be retrofitted so um, there are there are various types of insulation baffles that can be put into place and and we can certainly go through and cut in new intake vents to, to let that fresh air into the attic well great information give us some information how we can get a hold of feasible roofing to get that free inspection or, or, or call you guys of course so you can go to our website at feasalink.com or you can call 614 quality sounds good hey ross great information once again thank you so much thanks mike